<laughs> so I don't know how much commentary I'm gonna be able to do on this one. Um, I do know that they do plan on cleaning it up. And uh, can you find a light switch, Stuart? They do plan on cleaning it up. The outside's got a lot of uh, like different things in it, like boats and trailers and all that. Here's a bedroom. Your living room. Thank you, Stuart. Wood paneled walls. Electric stove. Travertine counters and backsplash. Cantina over the kitchen sink. <laughs> You got open cabinets in the bottom. I don't think this refrigerator would be included. Those are kind of pricey. Let's see what is over here. Okay, so this is the hamper, uh, the, the hamper, the, the pantry. There's our water heater and all their supplies. Pretty big pantry. When you're in the country, I guess you want a big pantry so you don't have to go very often. Another room looks like storage or being used as storage anyway. There's a washing machine and dryer. There's another door there, pretty inaccessible right now, as you can see. There's an air conditioner, so I guess if somebody's gonna be spending some time in here. There's a side door going out, a barbecue pit just outside the door, and there's some. Um, Cement work with a fire pit out there. I'll show you that in a moment. Is this closed? It was cracked. Okay. I do see some, looks like maybe a little roof leak here. <clears throat> The house is nice. What's that? Oh, okay, so that room goes into the laundry room. Hall closet. So this is a home office. The house smells nice and clean. I like the the, the chair with the cowhide. Here's another bathroom. Here's a bedroom, I'm assuming this is a master bedroom. It's a big king size bed. Or more probably a uh, walk-in closet over here. That's also two walk-in closets. This is a big closet. Um, I really can't reach the string, but it is huge. Do you want to shine your flashlight over here? This is a... It goes all the way down. You don't want to go pull your strap? No, I'm going to fall on the oh, yeah. shoes. <laughs> okay. And then the man's closet. And then the man's closet. That's the same. Yes. Okay. Got some missing covers here and there. I don't see any major issues with foundation the floor seems to feel solid and level 
This cabinet definitely needs refinishing. They've got a hole here, probably where they did a patch job on some plumbing. You know, with all the freeze that we had recently, they might have had to do that here recently. Oh yeah, the 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 the, the whole shower has been busted out. And um, some of these things I'll be willing to repair. Carrier unit, in my opinion, that's the best brand there is. Another hall closet. Another bedroom. And I think that's it as far as the inside of the house. Different colored tiles, you know, ceramic tiles throughout. Some saltillo colored, some lighter in color. This is the bathroom, it's got a smaller, lighter color. But everything looks you know, well done. <clears throat> There's This used to be a family uh, compound and everybody's kind of going their own way. So there's another home. Yeah, those are. These are yeah, these are doors they bring in from from New Mexico, and they're very expensive and they're heavy as heck. There's another house on the property, but you know, uh, like I said, this was a family compound that has been getting divided up. You, um, this would have to be something that. Uh, rely on on the surveyor as to where this property's lines stop they believe that this one includes that barn over there it's got a 35 year uh, dimensional roof on there uh, looks like it's in good shape One thing that's a concern to me is that it looks like they used 35 year roofing even on this very level portion and that's that's not the right kind of roofing for that uh, that level of a roof. It needs more of a slope for that to work right. So that may explain why there's some uh, roof drains, uh, I mean that ceiling staying inside all of this would be cleaned up and removed prior for you taking over Looks like they have some sort of uh, maybe a septic business where they dig up trenches and they put septic tanks in. Yeah, it could be, could be just a concrete business. <clears throat> this is a big barn here. Lots of possibilities here. Oh yeah, they sure do. Maybe they do warehouses or something. But I know this trailer is going to be gone. You know, if there was something you were interested in keeping, you could ask, and we could we could ask for it. There's a nice boat over there. I'm a boat nut, but I have my own already. And there's another another uh, cooking area where they're sitting. 
would I buy this one? Um, only concerns are the roof. There are some, I would just, it's a nice home. It's a nice area. It's a nice lot. It's hard for me to answer. I like it, but I don't know about some of the things. I'd rely on an inspector on this one. For the, the slope of the roof, the, looks like there's some mold growing on the side of the house where there's maybe need some gutters put in. Walk around the outside of the house. This is probably from water falling. Just splashing on the house. Some gutters would help take care of that. A good pressure washing and painting would take care of that. There's the remnants of an old water softener. It looks like they eliminated it. Again, some of this could be because of the freeze we just had. That freeze was real brutal. And it looks like they were going with stone. This all looks like it's original. All this is original and this is an addition. It's probably where the septic is. Need some, the stone needs some pressure washing over here. And I would definitely say, I think it needs gutters right over that rock right there. Beautiful trees, beautiful area. Um, but a surveyor would have to. Oh. <laughs> Surveyor would have to tell you where the property limits are, the, the, the sizes is, and all that stuff.